الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome my dear students to our English period for grade 9 unit 10 your workbook page 27 as you know my dear students the title of our unit is animal intelligence in our lesson today my dear students we are going to study a list of conjunctions Let's start with the first type of these conjunctions. The first type is coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. We can summarize them in the word fanboys. We use for, for a reason, and, for equal idea or time order nor for negative choice or alternative but for contrast or for choice yet for contrast so for a result let's study these examples my dear students the first one is four let's read the example i have to find a new job for i am unemployed and please calm down let's wait and see no neither my parents nor my friends supported me but I have got a home but I haven't got a car or does Clark have any brothers or sisters yet he says nice words yet you don't trust him finally so my daughter is very smart so everybody likes her the second type my dear students is correlatives conjunctions as you see both and not only but also just as as much as if then what with and either or so as the the no sooner than hardly when such that neither nor whether or as as rather than scarcely when so that here are some examples let's see both and the company deals in both hardware and software. The second one, either or. I will eat either carrots or bees for dinner. Neither nor. Natalia likes neither milk nor cream cake. Whether or. Do you care? whether we have noodles or rice for dinner not only but also he not only studies hard but also works well such that it's such a tiny kitchen that i don't have to do much to keep it clean scarcely when Scarcely had she entered the room when the phone rang. No sooner than, no sooner did he enter the room than he saw a snake. These are, or the third type of conjunctions, some subordinating conjunctions, my dear students. Let's see some see and read some of them. After 
although as as if as long as as much as as soon as although because before etc look at this table and see the subordinating conjunctions we use some of them for time for a place for reason for condition for manner etc now my dear students let's start our exercises exercise number one I choose the most suitable conjunction I like sugar in my tea but or so I don't like milk in it that's right but number two he was late I choose my dear students although or because the bus didn't come because neither my brother that's right nor my sister has a car number four they climbed the mountain that's right although it was very windy we were very tired that's right but happy after our flight to sydney number six listen to the story and answer the questions in complete sentences excellent my dear students let's move to exercise number two read this paragraph then underline the correct conjunctions read carefully take your time and underline the correct conjunctions after reading my dear students let's check our answers the first one is therefore that's right what about the next one it's in addition that's right the third one for example the next one is although excellent now my dear students let's move to your workbook page 28 the first exercise on this page is complete the following sentences with the correct words from the list in our list my dear students we have six words collective scorching squeezing come up with perseverance give up collective scorching squeezing come up with perseverance and give up read carefully my dear students and try to complete the sentences with the suitable word number one it took a planning and a space to be successful in my life that's right perseverance number two Brilliant students usually space amazing new ideas come up with. Number three, any society can come over its problems by exerting many space social efforts. Collective, that's right. Number four, never space your dream dreams sometimes come true give up number five it rarely rains in space deserts so animals some suffer from water scarcity there 
that's right, scorching. Now, my dear students, in your workbook page 28, we are going to study some spelling rules. Here is spelling rule one, adding suffixes to words that end in the letter Y. Let's see. When you add a suffix that starts with E, such as ED, ER, or EST, to a word that ends in Y, the Y usually changes to an I. For example, the word cry, cried, crier, dry, dried, dryer. For example, can you combine these words? Mary, we want to add the letter S. Ugly, we want to add the letter S. Carry, we want to add the letter ED. As you see, my dear students, here we are going to change the letter Y and add IES. Mary marries. Ugly, uglies. We change the letter Y into I. Carry, we also changed the letter Y into I, then we add ED. Let's move to the spelling rule 2, double consonants. Watch out for double consonants. It can be difficult to hear them when a word is said aloud, especially if the word has only one syllable. Double consonants are frequently found in words that have suffixes added to them. For example, I dropped the heavy bags to the floor. Someone called for you earlier. Look here in the first verb, dropped. The double consonants are P, P letter. And in the second verb called the letter L. Now combine the following here swim. We want to add ing. When we add ing to the verb, if the verb ends in a letter in a consonant preceded by one vowel we double the last letter okay let's see swimming we change m to double m we also change cut cutting fat fattest we double the last letter because it is a preceded by a vowel Here, my dear students, let's see what is a suffix. A suffix is a group of letters added to the end of the word. The suffix, it changes the word's function or meaning. What are the common suffixes? ED, ER, EST, ING, FUL, etc. Generally, when a suffix is added, the base words remains unchanged, like dog, dogs, talk, talked, wash, washing. But sometimes we do need to change the base word if a word ends, ends in Y. Let's study this rule as we said, my dear students. If the base word ends in with Y, 
sorry, change the y into i before adding the suffix. Study, studied, happy, happier, like this. Here, we change the letter y into i, then we add the suffix. Cry, cried, crier. Dry, dried, drier, as we said. Other examples. Try, tried. Copy, copied. Harry, hurried. Happy, happier, happiest. Lazy, lazier, laziest. We change the letter Y into I. Mary marries. We change also. Or we also change the letter Y into I. Ugly, ugliest. Carry, carried, etc. There are some exceptions, my dear students. If the base word contains a vowel directly before the letter Y, the letter Y stays as it is for a play. Here, the word play contains a vowel before the letter Y, so the letter Y stays as it is. Plays stayed enjoyable. If the suffix begins with the letter I, then Y stay, uh, stays as it is. For example, carry, carrying, hurry, hurrying, baby, babish. Now, a try add suffixes to the following words. As we said, my dear students, and apply the rules. Excellent, that's right. We have studied these examples. Let's check them again. Marries, ugliest, carried. Let's move now to spelling rule number two, double consonant. Okay. If the word has one syllable, a word which one vowel sound, one vowel, and it ends in one consonant. You double the final consonant before you add ing. ed, er, or est. You don't double the consonant if the word ends in tion. For example, the word run. It has one syllable. It has one vowel, u. And it has one consonant that follows the, the vowel in. In this instance, you double the last consonant to make the word running. Look at these examples. Run running, stop stopping. We double the letter B, stopped. Okay, bigger, we double the letter G. Okay, my dear students, as we said, and studied here, swimming, we double the letter M, cutting, we double the letter T, fat, we double the letter T, swimming, cutting, fattest. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you for your participation. Meet you in the next period, inshallah. Thank you and... 